My name is Yuri Spasokokovsky and I'm a bodybuilding trainer. I help people in the whole world to work out via Internet and Skype. Create individual programs, diets, so they improve their body during two or three months with the help of my techniques and exercises. Today I'd like to tell you how to eat properly. Now the amount of fat in my body is no more than 8%. That means that I've got a great six-pack, and even if I don't work out often, my six-pack is on the nice condition. Everyone wants that. That's why people often ask what to eat. So, what do I eat now to be in such a good cut shape? Here I got diet bread crisps, six of them. Each bread crisp contains 14 kilocalories and about 3 grams of carbohydrates. You can easily count how much carbohydrates I eat. Why so little? You gain fat because of carbohydrates excess, that's why. So the reduction of carbohydrates consumption is one of the basic rules of awesome six-pack and nice looking body. As for carbohydrates, I can also tell that the bread crisps had a lot of cellulose, they don't contain sugar. Also, I've got a salad here. You might think that this is also carbohydrates, but they are different. They are hard to assimilate. And most people don't consider fresh vegetables as the source of carbohydrates at all. This salad made of cucumbers, tomatoes and Chinese cabbage with a bit of olive oil. It's good for its cellulose and vitamins. Besides, I can eat a big plate of salad. It will give a great satiety. I'm very hungry now. And thanks to this salad, my stomach will be full and I will feel no hunger. Look here. We've got turkey breasts, approximately 200 grams. That's like 40 grams of protein. That's exactly the amount of protein recommended for bodybuilders to consume during one meal, not less. As for me, I consider 20-30 grams of protein for the person with 100 kilograms of muscle weight and fat amount less than 8%, not enough. That's why you are to consume at least 40 grams of protein in one meal. And for five meals a day you will have 200 grams. So I recommend to eat at least 2 grams of protein and 1 gram of carbohydrates to 1 kilogram of your body weight during cutting up. Try not to exclude carbohydrates completely. Definitely, if you totally exclude carbohydrates, you will eat only this, vegetables and proteins. The process of cutting up will be more effective, but you can get ketosis instead. You will feel sick, your blood will be full of ketones, the taste of copper will be in your mouth, and the smell of acetone. That's not healthy at all. It's better to add carbohydrates to your food to feel perfect. And the process of cutting up will not harm you. So-called carbohydrates rotation is recommended to alternate days when you eat carbohydrates and when you don't. A bit of rice, bread crisps, buckwheat will be good for you, so you will cut up in a wholly healthy way and save your energy. If you feel sick, eat more carbohydrates. You have to combine the methods, cheat your body, because improvement of your body shape is based on cheating. Like you cheat with barbells and dumbbells, you do that with your meals. Look, it doesn't matter how much I eat. Each person requires an individual approach. You might eat 300 grams of turkey or you might eat 100 grams, depending on what you are doing, building muscles or cutting off. The size of meal should be changed like the amount of carbohydrates. More of them, the protein will be assimilated better and the muscles will grow faster. Less carbohydrates, fat will burn well, but the muscles will grow slower and you will not increase your power, but hold it on the level. Therefore, you see my typical meal aimed mostly on cutting off 
than on mass gaining. And of course, the part of the day does also matter. If you eat at the evening, it's better not to consume carbohydrates. In the morning, you need more carbohydrates. Excess of them goes into fat. So if you plan to work out, you may eat more carbohydrates. At the beginning of your working day, you should eat carbohydrates to have much energy. And in general, I recommend to eat not less than five times a day. This is not only for bodybuilding, it's more for your general health. Any doctor will recommend you to eat five times a day instead of two or three, but less portions. If you want to get better body, you will have to eat more often, six or even eight times a day. That's how bodybuilders eat. They eat small portions, it increases their metabolism. The more portions you eat per day, the more fat you will burn, the better your metabolism will be. And of course, protein will be assimilated better if you eat more often. Naturally, if you are an endomorph like me and full-bodied, you will have to eat often to increase your metabolism. Instead, you have, if you have fast metabolism, eat not so often, four or five times a day. The fat will burn slower and the whole process of metabolism will be not so fast and the muscles will grow faster. After all, I don't recommend to eat less than five times per day, even if you gain weight. So, we've talked about meals. You've seen how to regulate the consumption of cellulose. The bigger is your salad, the less you can eat meat. Why is my salad plate so huge? Because I'm really hungry now. I can even eat a kilo of turkey. But the excess of protein is also bad. You will not get fat from the chicken meat, but you can stop the process of fat burning. So that's why the salad helps you to control your hunger. Even if you eat really a lot of salad, the process of fat burning will not stop. That's why the amount of cellulose is relatively big and the carbohydrates and proteins are less during cutoff. In general, I can talk about the basic principles for hours, but I'd like to say that if you overeat the vegetables, you might get gastritis or other ill stuff. So if you want your diet to cure you and improve your health, it's recommended to eat slightly stewed vegetables instead of fresh salad. Of course, without any fat or oil. Also, I recommend to use uh, Chinese cabbage instead of white. It's easier to digest. Thank you very much, guys. It's very nice to see you. And I hope that my advice will help you and I'll be very happy of that. Visit my website, my social networks, vk.com. And of course, I'll, it will be nice of you to share my lessons with your friends. Press like button so everyone will get free advice to increase health and be good looking. I'm very happy to talk to you, your trainer. Yuri Spasokokotsky, I believe you'll be even in better shape than me. Thanks.